We came to the curriculum committee meetings this year and we were challenged with a question. Um, what makes Adventist education distinctive? Uh, that question has been raised because we have seen a decline in Adventist education. We've seen a decline in the effectiveness of Adventist education. We've seen our youth uh, leave the church. We're seeing you know, the impact of the world on our youth is just is causing us to 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 see to look again at what are we doing in Adventist education, and in that context we came to the curriculum committee and we we're looking at the book education. Before, um, I guess before you can fix something, you need to know how it works, and so one of the things that we need to do is look at Adventist education and, and how it was formed, where it came from, so that we can understand how it, how it uh, how to fix it. I guess. Um, Adventist education has adopted a worldly system, the system of humanism, as its system to, to copy in terms of, of its curriculum and, and the way the system works. Um, if you notice, the, ad, the worldly system, uh, humanism, the con of man, man becomes the center of everything in humanistic systems. Um, so man is the center, and what happens here is that uh, in education, as you know, if you go to a university, you can take you can take science, or you can take um, history, or you can take uh, English. You can take different majors, but in the in the worldly system, um, the cur the curriculum is based up the curriculum is divided into categories that. Uh, Reality itself gets divided into these different categories. Instead of seeing a holistic picture, people study just little parts of that picture. And so, uh, someone may be a major in science or a major in history or a major, and they they don't do any music or they don't do any Bible. They don't they don't see a connection between the two. Now, the question is, how did this how did this come about? Well, to understand the idea of how a system comes about, we need to understand how individuals within that system work because individuals in the system and how they work make the system.